Hey everyone, so new year, new studio and new desk setup here as well. So for the first time ever, I have my own dedicated studio where I can film all my YouTube videos. Whereas compared to before, I was just filming in the, out the back of my living room. So today I'm gonna to show you how I built my desk that I've optimized for researching about investments on the ASX. Anyway, let's get started. So I basically just started with a blank white canvas, which I knew I wanted to get a dark blue looking color. I ended up settling for a paint called Elegant Night by Torbmans, and I've actually never painted before in my life. So I think cutting into the, all the edges like all the pros do, I thought it turned out pretty well, a lot better than I thought. Now for the table itself, a lot of the sit-stand desk that I wanted was extremely expensive so I actually decided to make my own by piecing together a tabletop and a sit-stand leg frame together. The tabletop that I got was a walnut piece from a local tabletop supplier and I pieced it together with a sit-stand leg frame from Lazy Masons. So doing it this way meant that I saved on costs by around about 30% or so but it also meant that I had to do a little bit of work determining where the holes would go and actually pre-drilling them as well. But that actually kind of worked in my favor because it gave me a lot of flexibility about, for example, where the controller would sit or how much overhang the table had as well. So the finished product was actually a lot heavier than I thought and I really should be lifting with my knees here. So try not to copy any of my techniques that I'm using here. Maybe except this part, which I just recommend getting another person to try and help you move the table itself. So after taking off this sticker, I noticed there was a bit of air bubble underneath the film, but functionally it worked quite well and it moved up and down exactly as I expected. So no complaints there. Now, next up was two products that I bought from a company called GKU. The first was the computer tower and the second was a cable management tray. Now, the computer tower was fairly simple and it was just going to go on the left-hand side of my my desk but the cable tray was the tricky one to install because this was extremely difficult to install in its current position so I needed to flip it over and actually try and put them exactly where they would be installed so this made it a lot easier but again don't copy my lifting techniques here you should be lifting with your knees and not with your back at all and now was the right time to put my computer tower as well in this way I could keep the computer tower off the floor and keep it with the computer every time it moved up and down. Now I also wanted a monitor riser and a lot of people actually recommend a Grove made except that it costs quite a fair bit with $360 for a solid wood monitor riser plus the shipping costs because they're based in the US. So I just decided to make my own from a local joinery shop and I got them to make this simple four piece table which they glued together for me and I only needed to add the finishing touches so that it would look presentable on my table. So first up was actually staining the three little legs black. So I went down to my local Bunnings and bought a wood stain that was pure black. Anyway, after a few more coats of stain and varnish, I went ahead and masked off all those three legs because it was joined together and I wanted to give the table top a walnut stain to match the main table look. Now this time when I stained the wood, you notice that I'm wearing a plastic bag before holding my rag which is the smart thing to do. Now it looks like I actually enjoyed this process a little too much and went over it too many times. So it actually looks a little bit darker than the top surface when I stained that part. But I was okay with that because you couldn't see the bottom and the top at the same time anyway. So you couldn't really tell the difference. So I was okay with that. And after it dried, I was going to give it a top coat varnish anyway, which is going to bring out the real walnutty color out from it anyway. So it was starting to look pretty good to my eyes anyway. Now, once that had all dried, I added a plastic board, which I used to make a second level shelf and then stuck on these little circular grippy things on all four corners so that when I put it on my main table, it wasn't going to slide around anywhere. And this is what the finished monitor riser looks like on my table. Now I can move on to all the table accessories, starting with this desk pad that I bought from Minimal Desk Setups. It's got this really nice felt finish that the mouse glides over and just really looks nice on my desk. And now comes this monitor. I've been using a very small 27 inch flat screen. So this 34 inch curved screen from Prism Plus is a huge upgrade for me. 
So Prism Plus is a relatively new and unknown monitor manufacturer out of Singapore and at $600, I thought this was really good value for what they were giving me. The only problem was that the monitor stand for it was a little too deep for the monitor table that I just built. So I kind of had to adjust it and put it in this position where it kind of sat on the edge of that table. Now I still wanted to keep my old monitor, but the problem now is that the widescreen is now so big that it took up the whole space on my monitor riser. And if I put it on any one side, it was gonna be obscured by the curved monitor. So I needed a new solution. And that solution was to use a monitor mount. And the monitor mount that I ended up choosing was a single arm monitor mount by Ergox. And I chose this one because it has a really long reach and it allowed my screen to be mounted in the portrait position instead of the landscape as well. So this is my final setup with the screens mounted in its right places. I also added a microphone boom arm and a headphone stand as well to put my Sony headphones. It's one of the more affordable ones out there at just $37 that I got from Mighty Ape and it looks really good on my desk. Next up is an LED desk light which mounts on top of the monitor and I picked this up on Amazon for just $50 compared to a more expensive brand like BenQ which retails at almost $200. The light sits on top of the monitor like this and its purpose is really just to prevent glare from the monitor getting to your eyes. Now because I have a curved monitor, I actually had to mount it with its base sitting on the stand so even though it looks pretty funny, it's actually pretty sturdy and it's not going to fall down anytime soon. Next is a new keyboard that I bought from Logitech with a new carbon fiber finish. I bought this keyboard because it actually has two USB ports from the keyboard which I could use to put in my wireless mouse dongle. And of course no desk setup is complete without some RGB lights. So I went for the Philips Hue ecosystem with this LED light strip because it just has more refined smart controls and is compatible across a lot of different home assistants. And the colors look really good as well. Now the biggest challenge that I actually had with this desk is putting the power board into my cable management ports because even though it slides in perfectly fine and uh, has no problems, when you actually install a power port into the power board, there's actually no way that I can slide it in anymore and no matter how I turn it, it just wouldn't go in. So I actually needed a new solution and that was actually to cable tie the power board to the bottom of my cable tray with three different cable ties which just managed to click into its first position. And this is what it looks like after I had it tied up. So hopefully this should be the only cable coming out of this desk into the PowerPoint. And I almost forgot my microphone which is screwed onto my microphone boom arm that I'm also using to record this. Now I just need to add a spiky plastic mat onto the carpet so my chair can roll around. My wireframe chair goes in with a cushion for more comfort and I'm pretty much almost done. The speakers that I'm using is a really old and cheap Altec Lansing that I bought a long time ago and it has a bass box with two speaker outputs on both sides. The headphone stand actually had to move out of the way to make a fit. Once I add in a plant for some greenery and my Google Assistant goes in and that's pretty much my desk setup complete now. And so this is now what the final product looks like. Of course it's always going to look better when you add some LED lights in like now and even better when it's at night. But funnily enough my favorite thing about this desk is actually the LED light that I have on top of the monitor because I can actually change the temperature of the light depending on the time of day. And so now I can comfortably sit at my desk and look at price fluctuations and price charts on my big curved monitor while reading company announcements and financials on my portrait monitor. It actually makes a huge difference over trying to alt tab back and forth between screens and you might miss or forget what you were doing back on the other screen. For example, recently with the stock MFG, they had a massive dip from $50 back in August all the way down to about $19 now and I was curious to see if this represented good value now so I switched over to my portrait monitor and just compared the price chart against its net income before tax chart on self wealth. And you can see here that even before the massive plunge, they were losing net income in the preceding year before that. So now if we go back to our curve monitor and scroll down to the announcements section, we can see that there's a reason for its rapid plunge and that's the company announcement that was made on the 20th of December about St. James's Place pulling out as a client of MFGs. So you can see that the portrait monitor comfortably lets us see the announcement in A4 size. 
And so that's my desk setup for 2022. I think it's pretty cool to look back on what it was and compare it to what it is now. So I hope that kind of gives you some inspiration to try and build your own desk setup for this year. Anyway, this has been The Healthy Investor. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.